Hello, everybody. Yes, it's another beautiful day in the neighborhood, and we're still neighbors. Yes, we're still neighbors, and guess what? We are fresh off of the BET Awards. And let me say this. I was there. I attended the BET Awards, but let me tell you, honey, I'm still pissed off because when I left my phone in the doggone Uber, and it just has really affected me. I have not been having a good week since leaving my phone. Now, it's supposed to be delivering it today. I hope I get my phone back today because, girl, I got all my stuff in my phone. My life is in my phone. I got my dick pics. I mean, I got my pictures. I got everything, honey, in that phone. So if somebody get the phone and get those pictures. But the good thing about it is you'll never know who it's for because there's no faces. But anyway, let me tell y'all. Okay, now, we've been talking about the BET Awards. Everybody been discussing them. And, you know, one of my favorite parts was... What was my favorite part? I said Taraji P. Henson. When Taraji opened it up, I loved the opening of the BET Award because I loved the way she did that tribute. I'll say, honey, to um, Kendrick Lamar because, you know, she did his song, and, you know, with the Drake situation and all that other good stuff. But my thing is uh, one of the things that really, okay, that really, 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 honey, got me was Willard Smith. A.K.A. Will Smith. Now, you know, Will, honey, you know, he's he's, he's trying to redeem himself from the slap. And they need to let it go because that slap happened about a year ago or 20 years ago. I don't know, honey. But, you know, Will performed the song with the gospel choir. And y'all know the title of the song was You Can Make It, and which was really interesting because, believe it or not, you can make it. You can make it. And, you know, Will letting the world know, yes, honey, he went back to his, um, you know, faith. And, you know, um, as it was said that he said that he loves all face, honey. Like they say, what? Did, how did he put it, honey? He said, um, you could, um, they say Will Smith debuts his powerful new song that revisits his faith. And, you know, like I just said earlier, you know, now, you know, his, um, he, he loves all of faith, honey. He said he, he, he connects with, um, fans all over, all over the religious or faithful realm, honey. And that's a good thing about it because they say he even said he likes Scientology. He loves Baptist. Christian, all faiths, all religions. So con- congratulations to Will because, you know, we love Will. And even though the slap happened, but, you know, I mean, y'all can't continue to hold Will against the slap, y'all. They said, now, Will Smith's song is both personal and it's relatable. They said, now, on social media, they said the Independence Day star confided y'all that return to music, honey, provided a sense of comfort for him because you know when you slap somebody you need to hear some music to comfort your hand and they said and he hoped that his new record would be able to support anyone honey else in a time of need the same way beautiful isn't that beautiful and here's the quote though some of my darkest moments music has always been there for me he said to lift me and help me grow he said it's my humble wish that it can do the same for you and, honey, bring you all the joy and light you deserve, y'all. Isn't that touching? That is so touching. Because I'm going to tell you, I love music. Music is Susan. It's funny that I haven't listened to a radio. I go to bed with the music on, and where I'm standing there is not a radio. So, I mean, I have to go to bed, honey, you know, without music. And it, it really kind of, you know, it kind of, you know, hurts me a little bit. But I make it. I do it. And I've done it. And so far, here I am still, but I still know that Will, like the song says, honey, you can make it. But then there's also a song, honey, that's out there y'all old heads would know. I love music, any kind of music, sweet, sweet music. So I'm glad Will is finally telling the world that he loves music. But uh, is it, well, let me digress. Is he going to tell us that he really loved Jada? You think he's going to tell us that? Because we really need to know. We need to know if he's just a really in love or, or is it just a sham. But then guess what? Who gives a damn, honey? They love each other, honey. They together, child. They got a bond. They got some secrets. And, you know, that's that. All right, moving on. Ray J, y'all. Now, Ray J said, you know, honey, he has his fans, honey, concerned about that he shared a message, y'all, on his Instagram story after almost getting into a physical altercation, y'all, with Zeus. Network CEO Mr. Lemuel Plummer at the BET Awards. Let me tell y'all something. We may not know too much about it, but, honey, you know, there's some little catting that's going on at these award shows, honey, especially the BET. But now, this is what Ray J said, quote, he said, I'm really at a breaking point to provide for my family and have generational wealth was always, he said, the plan. He said, but money is evil. He said, and people are bad. He said, and I can't take it anymore. 
That's what Ray J said. Oh my God. Then he went, he said, honey, these chain of reactions are stemming from being locked, honey, in a false reality, confused y'all by this whole life. He said the shit that happened, honey, tonight, honey, at him, which you was talking about at him at the award show, he said it was very hurtful. He said, y'all, listen, he said, I'm working backstage, and then I go, honey, take a break in the back, and BET wouldn't let me back in. He said, for some reason, oh, my God. He said, I don't know who they didn't want me to see. He said, but it was weird. Let me tell y'all, honey, like I said, I was there. I did the radio room and interviewed a lot of the stars. It was very hard to get in the room, but you were able to get in the room. Now, honey, I don't know what's going on with Ray T, not Ray, on Ray J, but he said this. He said, Ray J, he said, I claim that he's leaving the country and that, honey, he is suicidal and uncomfortable with the perception of reality. He said he was paid to shut up and he hates himself for it. He apologized to his sister and vowed, y'all, to make it right. What in the hell is going on with Ray J? Because y'all know Ray J, honey, you know him and um, Princess Queen, or what's her name, Princess Love, they divorcing. And so, and he has those two beautiful kids that he has to take care of. But what is going on? And is Ray J suicidal? Because, I mean, Ray J is a many of things, honey. You know, we love Ray J. Between Wait, Ray J and um, um, Cry- I mean Tyrese, those two, honey, they stay in the damn press with something. Something going on, honey. So I don't know, child. But I know one thing, honey. Ray J, just let it go. It's not worth it. It's not worth, honey, jumping off a bridge. Uh, it's not worth, honey, just, you know, going through all this stuff. It's just not worth it. So, you know, we just got to pray. That's all we could do is pray, y'all. Now, while we praying, y'all, let's continue to pray, y'all, for Rick Ross. I don't know if y'all heard the story, but honey, allegedly, they're saying that Rick Ross, honey, thought it was sweet, honey, when he visited Vancouver, Canada. They said, but honey, Mr. Ricky Rose was in Drake's country, and they said he was asked to, uh, he asked the DJ to start playing Kendrick's Not, um, Not Like Us diss track. And they said Baby Ross was quickly approached by a few of Drake's supporters who proceeded Baby to attack, honey, to smack him, knock the mess out of him. And they said, and when his security and friends stepped in to protect them, they got the sonic rings beaten out of them. Girl, I don't know what's going on with these damn rappers, honey. I just don't know what's going on with them, honey, but it's a mess. It's just too much going on, honey. They need to just go ahead on and spend their money and rest their nerve. But they're not doing that, child. They're too busy, damn it, acting a damn donkey. You got too much money to be acting a donkey. Just entirely too much. But who am I to say they got too much money? I'm no one. Let me say this too, because let me go back to the BT Awards. Now, they got the worst and the best dress. You know, honey, they got some of the best looks. And, you know, I'm going to tell you, they said some of the best looks at the awards. They said Miss Tyler, Ice Spice, Kiki Palmer, and Chloe Bailey. Now, these girls all, you know, they look nice. They gave it, honey. They brought it, whatever. But, you know, I'm going to just say this off the cuff, honey. I don't believe Usher wore what in the hell he wore. You are receiving one of the most prestigious awards that you could receive, honey, from BET. And you came in some goddamn jeans and a jacket. If that had been the Oscars, the Grammys, or any of the other damn awards that was of non-African descent awards, you'd have been dressed like them and you came out of a magazine. But you just put some shit on like you just rolled out the bed. I didn't believe that. And then we couldn't even hear what you were saying, Usher, because you cursed half of the damn awards. And they blanked it out. And I hear people saying, oh, well, there was something wrong. No, there was nothing wrong with the damn mic. His ass was cursed until because he told us he was about to curse. It just really hurt my spirit. It hurt my spirit, Usher Raymond. And I was very distraught. And I want to redo. You need to redo this all over again and come dressed like, you know, I'm not saying you got to wear a ball gown, honey, or tuxedo, but you could at least dress like you were receiving a prestigious award like you would have from it. Dress like you're on damn stage. How about that? But anyway, so I think I'm going to just go ahead and cut right now because, honey, my nerve's bad, and I'm going to take a quick one, and I'll be back. 
Hey, y'all, looking for that little burst of fun, honey, in your spare time? Well, baby, how about a chance to win big, baby, along the way? Yes, honey. Jump into the excitement, y'all, with lovetoplay.com. That is lovetoplay.com. Now, I want you to experience, y'all, the glitz and glamour, honey, of Vegas, right from the coziness of your couch, baby, on the go. Ooh. Now, we love to play fabulous selections of games. Now, you'll find that there's something special for, guess what? Everyone. Yes, honey. So picture this. Now you, honey, a cozy evening, a glass of your favorite drink, and, honey, the thrill of hitting a jackpot from the comfort of your home. Just say goodbye, baby, to boring commutes, and turn every bake. Every break, I said, into a Vegas escape. Ooh, Lord, I don't just love Vegas because I love that damn heat. But anyway, connect y'all with a supportive and inclusive community. You can make friends and memories that you'll never forget. Now, Love to Play is your go-to hotspot for all things fun with a chance, y'all, to win something every single day. That's every day. So just think about all those fun games, honey. I mean, just think about Lotto. Just think about Bingo. Just think about, honey, I mean, Keno, all these wonderful games, honey. Yes, baby, just think about them all. You could have fun with those. So we'd love to play every day as a celebration of fun now. So from theme slots, honey, that transport you to a magical world, honey, to all, or should I say to the all-time classics that give you that authentic Vegas feel. Plus, their exclusive bonuses and daily rewards, honey, means the fun never stops. It never stops, y'all. So get your 50 free spins, y'all, with a $50 minimum deposit. Yes, ma'am, baby. 50 free spins, honey, with that $50 minimum deposit. Ooh. So I want you to go to lovetoplay.com and enter the promo code Gary's T. That's G A R Y S T E A. I'm back, y'all. I have some very sad news. Now, to all you out there who watch the show, honey, Love and Marriage Huntsville, which is one of my favorite shows I watch on Saturday, honey, it's a very shocking story that's out. I don't know if y'all heard the disturbing news, but if you remember, if you watch the show, you remember Kiki, y'all. Kiki on the show, she's um, cousins, y'all, with, um, uh, with uh, what's her name, with the Scott family, honey, with Miss Wanda, and what's her daughter's name? Um... Um, Tisha, with Tisha, she's Tisha's cousin. You know, they were kind of going back and forth on the show last season. Well, it's disturbing, y'all. Kiki passed. Yes, it's been reported that Kiki passed, honey. And I'm like, no. I'm like, I love Kiki, but I don't think, and she wasn't on the show this season, starting yet, but she was definitely on last season. Now, but the family issued a statement there saying, in part, it is with extreme sadness that we announce the passing of our beloved Kiki. And they're saying, honey, she passed away peacefully at home, surrounded in love. Now, they say she was a mom, she was a sister, and she was a great friend, honey, full of life, y'all, love and laughter. She will sorely, y'all, be missed. And at this time, they're asking for respect and privacy, y'all, in their moment of grief while they process the great loss of Kiki. Y'all. So let's keep the Scott family and the Jabbar family lifted up in our prayers, y'all. I just don't believe it. I mean, she was only like 42 years old, honey. You know, it was just, it, it, you just never know, honey. Poor Kiki, and I love Kiki, honey. You know, she was definitely, you know, a good part of the show, and she's definitely going to be missed, y'all. So let's keep the family lifted up in our prayer. All right, y'all. Uh, Rihanna, now, you know, people still, honey, gossiping and rumoring, and rumors going out saying, oh, Rihanna's pregnant. Rihanna's pregnant. Oh, Rihanna. And Rihanna, like, girl, look, I'm not pregnant, honey. This girl, honey. Because let me tell y'all something, honey. And everybody talking about they waiting on a, a new album, honey. From Rihanna. Girl, Miss Rihanna ain't coming out with no album. Girl, this girl too busy making money with all her other stuff. This girl got hair now. She got clothing line. She got this, that, and the fifth. She may be making more money doing that. So why should she go sit in the damn high-end studio and make an album, honey? So, girl, y'all can just hang it up. Just deal with it, honey, and just deal with Rihanna, honey. And, honey, let her make her money. She got her store Fenty. Matter of fact, she even sell men stuff. Now, I haven't bought any lingerie from there yet. But um, she got some for men and stuff. I don't know if she have men thongs because, you know, honey, I'm a thong person. So I'm not doing boxes. Boxes are for boys. But um, Miss um, Miss Miss Rihanna got her stuff. So, honey, so y'all need to just start there. Hey, but when you going to come back with some stuff, girl? Cut. She ain't coming back no time soon. So that's, honey, when she tell y'all she's in the studio, she's in the studio designing some damn lingerie. How about that? That's what she's doing. So, but anyway, child, we love Rihanna and we love what she's doing for the culture, as we like to put it, though, honey. 
So, now I'm going to go back to this here. Now, wherever there's a little smoke, there's some fire. People are still talking about, honey, Beyonce and her husband, Jazzy. Now, you know, they're saying, honey, that Beyonce and Jazzy are definitely on the run because we haven't seen them lately. They're saying they're on the run because they're Diddy Man, honey. So I'm like, child, I can't see, honey, um, Miss J- uh, Miss um, Beyonce and Jay-Z on the run, girl. But they said because they don't want to be questioned about that madness we did it. Now, from what I'm hearing, Diddy, honey, he didn't left child, honey, and, you know, he's doing his thing, and I heard, too. I was listening to a show the other day, and the guy was saying that the reason why Diddy got in all this trouble because he was trying to sue that liquor company that, you know, he filed a lawsuit against the people that he was working with. And, baby, you don't do that, so they let his ass know, oh, you trying to sue? Well, good, we're going to show you, honey, who's going to win. And they, they start putting up all that stuff, baby, on Diddy, honey, and that's why, honey, you know, him and, um, he he alleged on the run, and that's why he got to do what he got to do, child. But I don't know why Jay-Z and Beyonce on the run, because, I mean, if they partaked in the parties, they good, they did. Okay, whatever. I mean, it was parties. That's what parties are for, to partake in them and do all the wonderful things you want to do, honey. Pull a rabbit out of a hat or maybe stick a carrot in a tailpipe. I mean, that's what you do at a party. Or do you? I don't know, because at my parties, I don't even have any, honey. So, But at my parties, we just give out gifts. But maybe I should have been invited to some of Diddy parties, and I could have, you know, pulled a rabbit out of a hat. What you think? But anyway, let's just keep them all lifted up in prayer, and hopefully and preferably that it, it gets better. It's going to be better. I could feel it in my spirit. I can feel it, honey, that Diddy is going to be um, vindicated. Is that the word? And he's going to come off clean and pure as snow. Because they already say he got a new damn baby mama or a new girlfriend or whatever. So I don't know. It's just, I don't, I don't know. And I don't care. But anyway, you all are loved. And you know what? I want you all to have a wonderful week, honey. I want you, if you, um, if your 4th of July is good, honey, have a great 4th of July, honey. You know, pop firecrackers, even though the 4th of July, honey, is over with. But did you have a good one? Did you pop firecrackers? Did you, honey, um, stick a firecracker, honey, in a watermelon and let it explode? My dream is to always to put a watermelon, I mean, a firecracker just up something and see if it just blow up. I mean, that's what I wanted to do as a kid, but... You know, hey, we all grown, honey. Let's see, honey, you pop. But anyway, honey, y'all have a great week, honey. Eat right and do all what you need to do, honey. And we'll do this again. Oh, and another thing, don't forget, honey, my birthday was the other day, honey. I didn't see any gifts, honey. Where are my birthday gifts, honey? I'm still accepting gifts, honey. Go to, uh, what's that? How'd you get it? Go to, um, Gary, is it dollar sign Gary? Dollar sign Gary. B. Hayes. I mean, if you just send just a dollar, it would really help just for the cup of coffee. Just one dollar. So that's dollar sign Gary B. Hayes. And God will bless you and keep you. And you can send more if you like, honey, because God knows, honey, I got to feed them children, honey, and pay my child support. But anyway, you're loved. And I'll send you something for your birthday, too, if you send me something, okay? Dollar sign Gary B. Hayes. You're so beautiful. Please help out. Just a, a cup of coffee you'll be blessed have a great week and we'll do this soon bye